Hare Krishna. See Krishna's reciprocation not so much in physical protection as in spiritual absorption. When we practice bhakti, when we try to serve Krishna, in fact, when we try to develop a relationship with anyone, we naturally want some reciprocation. Now, how that person is reciprocating, it is important for us to understand that carefully. So, oh, one verse is quoted from the Bhagavad Gita quite often to stress how Krishna is our protector. This is 9.31 in the Bhagavad Gita. Kaunteya pratijani na me bhakta pranashyati. So Krishna is telling Arjun to declare kaunte pratijani or declare Arjun to the whole world. Na me bhakta pranashyati. My devotee will never be destroyed. So this verse, this declaration can be a great reassurance for a devotee. At the same time, if we look at the broader context in which this is being spoken, the previous verse, 9.30 says, Apichet sudura jaro bhajate mama nanya bhag sadhureva samantavya samyag vyavasito hisaha Krishna says, even if a devotee engages in a terrible, grievous wrongdoing, sudara jaro, but the devotee recovers after that wrongdoing and uh, is determined to continue serving Krishna. Bhajate maam ananya bhak, without getting distracted, without thinking that I need any shelter other than Krishna. Sadhure vasamantavya. Such a devotee is actually to be considered saintly. Samyag vyavasito hisaha. Because the determination is well situated. And then Krishna says in the next verse, 9.31, Kshipram bhavati dharmatma shashva chantim nigachati. He says that soon such a devotee will become virtuous. Dharmatma. That such a person will start following dharma from within, not just as an external adherence to ritual, but as an internal uh, dharma will become their essence. And and thus one attain lasting peace, the peace that comes when we, when the inner distracting temptations go away. Shashva chantim nigachati. Then that, that means that enduring peace means that the inner battle will no longer be there. That means the person will truly become pure. And thus Krishna says, my devotee will all never perish. So here Krishna is talking. Uh, that the greatest danger is not the danger that befalls us at the physical level. The body is anyway going to die. Everything that we have at the physical level is going to be lost sooner or later. The greatest protection that Krishna can give us is the protection from moral lapses, from wrongdoing, from sin. That spiritual protection by which we stay on the path of virtue, stay on the path of devotion, and that is the ultimate protection. In fact, that protection comes uh, when we become absorbed in Krishna. If we can serve Krishna steadily, determinedly, and within that service we can get some absorption, then that itself is perfection. That itself is Krishna's reciprocation. So if we are doing some service, and within, whether it's studying Shastra, whether it is speaking on Shastra, whether it is uh, worshipping the deities, whether it is chanting the holy names, whether it is uh, distributing books, whatever be the service that we have, if we can get absorption in that service, that is Krishna's supreme protection. Because that absorption is the best protection from temptation. And temptation is the greatest danger in this world. Temptation is what will distract us from the spiritual path. So Krishna protects us from temptation by granting us absorption. So anytime we are getting absorption in Krishna's service, then that is Krishna reciprocating with us. And sometimes physical danger may be what uh, makes us take shelter of Krishna more, may make us become absorbed in him more. And then that is actually the presence of the danger may be a protection 
if it fosters absorption. Such is the inconceivable way of devotion. Thank you. Hare Krishna.